wow this day. Hey beautiful people, welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today and that you are ready to get age perfected with your girl because I don't know if you've noticed, okay, but like I'm 30 now and um, I do feel like like the aging process has taken hold of several aspects of my life, one of which is my face. So you can imagine my excitement the other night when I was on the Target website or Target, you know, for most people. Um, I'm sitting on the website because I have a gift card and like what's the one thing you have to do when you have a gift card? Spend the gift card. So I'm like, what do I need? What do I want? And like, obviously the answer is I need nothing, but I want everything. So I, I, you know, scroll over. I like how I'm walking with my fingers and scrolling and clicking um, over to the beauty section. And I happen to find this collection from L'Oreal. It's their new age perfect collection. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I picked up the entire thing because it sounded so good. Um, I didn't pick up like every single shade of every single option, but I did pick up um, one of everything that they had in the line and I thought it would be a really cool video just to sit down, test it out. Because I think the reality of the situation is that we're all trying to answer one basic question. Will the age perfect line from L'Oreal perfect my ever aging skin? Because y'all, it's a situation, okay? I've got like gray hair. You can't see them right now because I use tinted dry shampoo, but y'all, my hair getting gray, getting dull, getting lifeless. My skin already lifeless. I should learn how to sleep. I don't even know what's going on. There's just, there's just a lot. So uh, moral of the story, you know, a long way getting there. We're going to be testing out the entire collection. But before we get into this, I do want to mention something and I was going to save it for a different video, but I think this is a good segue. I know that I'm getting a lot of questions right now about like my health and what's going on with that, because as you guys would know, um, or if you're newer here, you might not know, but I didn't post a video on Friday and I mentioned to you guys that I'm having some health issues at the moment. And I just wanted to say, a, first of all, a huge thank you. There was a gigantic, you know, outpouring of love and support and kindness. Paige, take your time, feel better, you know, heal yourself, don't overdo it. And I want you guys to know that all of that does mean so much to me. And as I said, in the community tab and throughout other places on social media, as soon as I know more and I have more concrete answers to give you, I will, of course, talk about them. But for right now, I want you to know that I will do the absolute best that I can to produce content and to be here for you guys. Um, some days I might not be able to because I'm just not feeling very well. Um, but on the days that I can, I want to be able to show up for you and I want to be able to give you everything that you have given me, which is more than you could ever know. So I'm going to stop there, but I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you and I love you and I appreciate this platform and I appreciate that thousands of people care about a woman that they only know because of some random stuff she says on the internet. And I just, there's, there's something so cosmically amazing about the internet and I just wanted you guys to know that I appreciate you so much and I don't take you for granted and that's it. So let's go ahead, zoom the camera in and let's start talking about makeup because that's why you're here, girl. That's why we're here. We're not here to talk about another crazy, okay? This is why we're here. So let's just do that. So the first thing I want to jump in and talk about is that with this collection, there was no primer. So I went ahead and I just primed with my Tatcha Soap Canvas per usual, just so we could keep things on an even keel. Um, everything that I did find, like I mentioned, was on the Target website. And it also just occurred to me if they released other products that were a part of this collection, but not released at Target, then obviously I am very ignorant to those because I didn't go looking. I just purchased everything they had at Target. So if there is stuff missing, I apologize. But like I said, everything I have, from Target. That's where I'm pulling all my info. So now, based on all of that, we're going to get started into this little guy. This is their Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen. I have it in the shade 10 Ivory. And based on what I can see off of the website, it says the highlights for this little guy are that it is formulated with SPF 50, vitamin B3, and hydrating serum for all day hydration. It's supposed to even tone and provide a natural radiant finish with a lightweight formula that does not settle into lines. It's suitable for sensitive skin and comes in 30 radiant shades. Oh, hello, beautiful people. So a couple of things we need to talk about. Obviously, I just got on everything and applied it, and it didn't occur to me that I wasn't as zoomed as I thought I was until right now. So number one, sorry about that, but here we are good and up close. I have the foundation all over my skin. Um, if you happen to see as I move around, there's a patch of sunshine, which as I talk about it, it's not gonna come out, of course, but there's a random patch of sunshine that I can't get out of my face no matter what. So if that pops in and it's distracting, 
saying I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and talk about foundation, shall we? Um, now that that is on and applied, I definitely um, like it more than I thought I would. And that's just based on like other stuff that I've experienced from uh, this type of a consistency before. And this blended out, like pressed into my skin so quickly, so evenly. And it has this beautiful like radiance over top of it that I really, really enjoy. I would say standard medium coverage because it covered a lot of my redness, but it didn't cover the more harsh redness. So I'm happy with how she's looking so far. Also, as we go into concealer, I forgot to mention that uh, foundation I just put on retails for $11. 99 at Target and you do get one full fluid ounce and then going in and it actually has really good reviews too Like I didn't read any of them because obviously I'm reviewing it But just the overall stars it has like 4.8 stars out of 5 on Target with over 400 reviews So pretty exciting um, and then the concealer right here also has really good reviews like 4.8 almost 5 stars It is 9.99 you get 0.23 fluid ounces It says that it's formulated with hydrating serum and glycerin minimizes the appearance of imperfections and dark circles circles, brightens skin, creating a radiant complexion, does not settle into lines, it's suitable for all skin types, and it, it comes in 16 full coverage shades. But this is the lightest shade they have. This is the shade 200, and it is like, oh sorry, <laughs> there's that sunshine, but uh, this shade is the lightest one they have, and it like blends right into that foundation color. So yeah, the shade range, not my favorite. Oh god, <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. If only you guys could see how I am trying to bend right now to get out of that sunlight. I'm literally like hunched over like I'm on a secret little stealthy mission. But anyways, back to the concealer. I think it looks nice. I do like the coverage. Is it something that I would say is like a super duper full coverage? No, but I do think that contrasting it with the foundation, I definitely think the two together provide really nice seamless coverage, which is really important. Um, it, uh, it blends out really nicely. The consistency is super duper thin which I don't even know. Hello, can you guys even hear me? <laughs> I did, the mic was pointed behind me. Wow, this day. Okay, um, but the consistency is super thin. Um, not a huge issue, but given that they claim it doesn't settle into fine lines, it could be a little bit of a situation. I don't know. But for right now, this is where we're at as far as coverage. And oh, there was one more thing I wanted to mention that I totally forgot when I introed this. This collection isn't like a super ultra hyper new collection or anything. Um, I Googled it. It looks like it's been out for a few months at the at a minimum. So something to keep in mind, I want to say like maybe somewhere in the three-ish months, maybe four months, something like that. So this isn't like super duper new, uh, but I just wanted to test it out. So if you're like, Paige, that's not new. I know, I just can't help myself. But now before we can get out of the concealer situation here, you guys know I like to have a little bit of brightness under my eyes and those two shades between concealer and foundation, there's really not a way for me to get any dimension there. So, I, and not to mention the foundation is a lot darker than my skin tone. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral, and I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a brightening agent, you know, under the eyes, just kind of help me shape out the face. But I wanted you guys to get a good shot of what everything looked like before I added any other products into it. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and lightly set my under eye just using some of my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. And I'm actually going to use that to set under the eye as well as the T-zone. So a little bit of the forehead through the nose and onto the chin. All right. And now that we are here, we have the T-zone and under the eyes set. Let's go ahead and start talking about the planes of my face because I did pick up their um, powder foundation right here. I thought it would be cool to at least play around, test it out. Um, it says that this is their Age Perfect Cream Powder Foundation with Minerals. You get 0.31 ounces. It retails for $11.99. It also has very good reviews, four and a half out of five stars. And it says that this is formulated with ceramide, antioxidant, complexion, and minerals. It blurs pores and fine lines and keeps skin hydrated with a shine-free finish, evens out tone, and provides natural covers that won't cake or settle into lines. And it comes in 16 creamy shades. And I picked this powder up in the lightest shade, which is the shade 300. All right, so now I don't wanna go in and over powder with this just because the shade of it, I think would really like overtake and make me look even darker. Um, so I definitely went in and I applied it with a light hand, but just based off of my first impressions with this, I do think the quality, like the consistency of it, not the quality, um, the consistency is very nice. It feels very um, creamy to the touch. And obviously I know going into this, like a lot of people wouldn't 
wouldn't use this on top of another foundation. For most people that are picking up a, a compact powder foundation, um, whether it's a loose one or a press like this, uh, a, a lot of times they'll apply that by itself and not use it as a setting powder. But I'm also somebody that if I need or I want to layer up coverage, I don't mind going in with something like this and kind of, you know, giving me that little lilt of coverage. And I do think that if that's what you're looking for, it does provide a little bit more coverage. Unfortunately, it's not enough that I would like pick it over, um, say like the liquid foundation. I think that one definitely has better coverage. But if you're looking for something to give you just a little bit of like evening out skin tone, that sort of thing, I do think this does it. All right, guys. So I went ahead and took the liberty of zooming myself back out. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a little bronzer. This, there wasn't anything in this collection for that. So I grabbed my hourglass bronzer. This is in diffused bronze light. And I'm just going to throw on a little bit of this. And then from there, I'm really pumped because you guys know blush is one of my favorite freaking things. And I picked up both of these shades. Look at how bright this one is. Oh, Lodi, it is a hot ass coral. And I'm so excited. Uh, so obviously I have it in two shades. It retails for $9.99. This one only has six reviews, but it has five out of five stars. So the first one that I picked up is in the shade 405 Peony. No, I'm sorry, 415 Peony. And this is a very interesting look to it because when you swatch it, these are, these are specced as being more of a radiant satin finish. So there's the shade right there. And I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it definitely has like a glitz or a glimmer to it. And from what I'm seeing up close, it looks like there's actually like very refined gold type glitter in there. Uh, but the shade itself is super duper pretty. Oh my word. Okay. So this is the other color. Wow. Um, this is in the shade 420 Marigold. That is so freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. So I swatched it. Obviously there she is. Oh my God, I love blushes like this, it's so pretty. Um, this one has more of just a straight up satin finish and it doesn't look like it has as much or any gold like flakage to it or glitter flakes to it. I'm gonna live on the wild side today and I'm gonna go in first with the brighter shade. This is the shade Marigold and this is the Morphe E4. It's a fantastic blush, oh my God. I, did you see that? I was like, pink, I barely touched it. <sighs> okay, so like we're gonna tap hello we're gonna tap off a ton of that and we're going to go in with a very small amount and just ever so gently kind of poop 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 it onto our little skin here okay all right i'm trying to build it very lightly because this is one of those shades that like once it gets away from you you ain't ever gonna get it back so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna add a tiny bit more oh that's so pretty that's a beaut i don't know if that translates to camera at all but that shade is like super duper duper pretty Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So that's really nice. It's definitely um, bright enough that it's kind of overtaking the bronzer. Like you can see on this side, I just have more of like a, a soft, you know, light flush kind of situation. And then over here, it's like, bam. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I think what I'm going to do, I might want to play with both sides or both colors on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of this. Wow. That is so, that's so intense. Uh, but I'm going to apply a little bit of it to this side as well. I know what you might be thinking, Paige, what is happening? Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Uh, we're gonna go in with some of the shade 415 Peony, and I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this shade, and I'm going to kind of blend it on the upper part of the cheek back toward the temple. So I'm kind of I'm kind of using this shade to blend out the other one and soften it just a little bit, like right back through there, just because it'll help me create a little bit of a gradient, but it'll also still give me that really beautiful, like subtle, Oh, like that. And then just to kind of help me tone down, I got a little bit heavy handed back here with the more intense blush. I'm grabbing a little bit of my hourglass. This is the ethereal light. I use this all the time when I need to just like lightly dull down. Like it just kind of helps diffuse any like intense amount of color that you have going on. So here we are. We're looking good and flushed and fantastic. I love the way my skin looks right now. I think up close, it does definitely need to be set down with a setting spray, but like on camera, the way it's actually looking as far as like settling in, it looks beautiful. So I'm not having any complaints so far. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move into brows. And for that, we're going to use this, which is an actual, like you have to sharpen it style pencil. And I haven't used one of these in forever for brows, but this is the brow magnifying pencil with vitamin E. It is 0 0.02 ounces. It retails for $7.99. It comes in four different shades. I have the shade 202 soft brown 
and yeah it's, it's pretty much a standard eye pencil all right so let's go ahead real quick i just have a couple of things to note about this um i like the pencil in and of itself i think it was very creamy super easy to use my brows do look good i think you know they're i need to like shape them out a little bit on the underside this side's a little thick but i think as far as the actual product itself goes it's a very nice pencil my only issue with this like i mentioned before is that because it's a sharpenable type pencil and it's super creamy um you it, you're never gonna get like a super nice point you can see how dull that is like it's basically completely blunted at this point and I just feel like based on that the product isn't going to last very long and in order to have that point to go from like one brow to the other you'd have to like do a brow sharpen it do the other brow so for me it's not my favorite pencil like to use in general but it is very creamy and if you don't mind like you know the sharpening side of it or if you prefer that um it is a really nice pencil the quality of it seems to be on par I don't I don't have any like complaints about it other than that and then for brow gel real quickly there wasn't a brow gel in this collection I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Ma Gel Mascara, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. And I just used this in a, like, what's new at the drugstore, I want to say. I'll link it up here. All right, guys, so while I was off of camera really quickly dealing with the brow gel, I went ahead and I just threw a little bit on my lids. I took some bronzer, ran that through the crease, and then all over the lid, I have a couple shades from the Jaclyn Hill um, Highlight Palette. And that was just because I wanted, like, a little on my lids, but I didn't want anything overpowering because from this collection, they did have a couple of eyeliners. They actually had a third shade, which says it's the shade charcoal. Um, and I, that's not really a color that I would use too much. So I grabbed just your basic black and brown and these retail for $7.99. And it says that they are a satin glide eyeliner with mineral pigments. Um, and I thought it would be just cool to check them out, check out the consistency and all of that. And in the past, I've actually used several of L'Oreal's like liners and stuff like this. And they're usually pretty good. Um, it also mentioned on the package that this has an ergonomic little grip to it and right here it does that's so awesome it has like a little like soft grip or soft touch little grippy kind of like when you were in school and you had like the uh, grippers on your pencils it's just like that it's really nice actually okay holy crap is that creamy guys oh my god I I know this sounds dramatic I barely touched that to my like watch I'm applying like no pressure I have two fingers on incredibly loose look at this do you see that like, I'm not, I'm barely touching it. Holy cow. Okay, so that's the black shade, obviously. Let's go ahead and look at the brown here. See if it is just as creamy, and it is. Oh, I am like, I can't even with how, like, these are effortlessly creamy. Wow. I'm actually going to take the, I think, brown shade, because I think it would match, like, the softness that we have going on. I'm going to take this and put it on the upper lash line right up in here and just tight line the upper side of my lashes with it. And I'm also kind of working it in between the lashes. At first I wasn't going to, but I figure why not? I'll just go ahead and hit the uh, that upper waterline while we're here as well. I think my only, I don't even wanna say complaint, but the only thing I'm missing at this point is it having one of those little like smudger stick things at the bottom so you can lightly smudge out the line. Uh, but I'm just taking this, this is from Alomar Cosmetics. It's just a little liner brush. I think this is something that I got in BoxyCharm like forever ago. And I only do this just so that way there's like no harsh lines or anything because I like it to be a seamless line. That looks so nice. Oh my gosh. All right, so while I was doing that, I did just run a little bit of the brown liner onto the lower waterline as well, just to give me a little bit of something there to help frame out the eyes. I really have been into lately, like upper and lower lash lines in some sort of a color. I love doing like brown and black just because I love that like sultry feel. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it just because it can kind of close off the eye a little bit. For myself personally, I don't care. I love the way it looks. But while I was doing that, I did notice that my under eyes need to be just a freckle brighter so I'm gonna grab a little bit of my KKW powder obviously this is something I could have done you know while I was off of camera but I figured while we're here why not just throw it on and brighten everything up I think that helped just a little bit just a tiny bit of brightening and uh, now we're gonna go ahead I actually have to spray the face and do face highlight so let's grab my morphe and then I'm gonna use the same Jaclyn Hill highlight here the shade gleam and I'm gonna buff some of that into the cheek as well Oh, so good, so good. A little spritz here. This is my NYX Bear With Me spray. 
All right, so moving on from there, we're gonna go into a mascara. I love the way the skin is looking. Um, this is obviously from the Age Perfect line. It retails for $8.49. And this mascara, which I grabbed it in the shade 100 Black, I think there might've been another shade, but I prefer black mascaras in general. Um, but I just wanted to mention on here that it says that this has conditioning serum and jojoba oil, and that it is suitable for sensitive eyes, ophthalmologist tested, good for contacts, lens wearers, and that it has an ultra gentle brush, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, this is what we're gonna be getting into first, but before you guys know, I have to curl up my lashes because I have to curl my lashes. Can't help it. I have to. Is it weird that I also really like this white tube? I just think it looks really nice. It looks very sleek. All right, so getting on that first layer, I can definitely see what they're talking about. I, I, I can feel the fact that the bristles on this brush are definitely not as like um, dense or as like in, um, what's the word? Firm. They're not as firm as a lot of other mascaras. It has a lot more bend with it. And I can even tell that like, as I take it in and out of the tube, the bristles themselves just have a lot more give. But as far as the mascara itself, like the, the formula, what it does for your lashes, I actually really like the fact that it, um, does a very nice job at individualizing the lashes, making it look like you have way more lashes than you actually do as far as how they, um, how they span apart like this. While it does do a really beautiful job at that, it doesn't do much in the way of um, voluminous lashes, so keep that in mind. But in all the other ways, I think it does a nice job. It gives you a pretty solid length. Sorry, I got a little clump right there. Um, but it does a pretty good job at giving you decent length and really nice definition. I think it looks really pretty actually. We're gonna go ahead and move into lip liners. I picked up three of them and these ones really, really intrigued me, which is why I picked up three different shades. Plus you guys know I am a lip liner junkie. I love lip liners. The reason that these intrigued me is that in the title, these are actually the Age Perfect Makeup Anti-Feathering Lip Liners. They retail for $7.99. They come in, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They come in eight different shades. Then down in the description, not only does does it say that they are anti-feathering, but that they are a transfer-free anti-feathering formula. And I thought that was just super interesting. So let's go ahead and take a little look at these real quick. Ooh, that's satisfying. These are very nice and creamy. Okay, I'm just going through and swatching the three that I have. This nice berry shade right here is number 80, Rich Cranberry. Ooh, that one's even creamier yet. This one is more of like a, I would say like a muted kind of corally pink shade. And this is number 50, Nude Pink. Nude Pink is actually probably the perfect way to describe it. Last one, that's interesting. This one actually has like a little bit of like a glitzy gleamer kind of feel to it. This is gleamer, what the hell's, <laughs> what's gleamer? I don't know. Um, but this is in the shade 10, Bright Mocha. Ooh, it has like a like a slight brown, I would say undertone to it, but like a shimmery quality? Interesting, okay. Real quickly though, I am gonna wait to put on the, or pick a lip liner because I actually have four different lipstick options because when I was going through the line, again, they had two different options for lipsticks. The ones in the little gold butts right here, these are their Age Perfect Satin Lipsticks with Precious Oils. These retail for $7.99. Or there were the ones with the white bottoms right here and these are their Age Perfect Luminous Hydrating Lipstick and Nourishing Serum. These retail for $8.49 and yeah, I just, I wasn't sure which one I I wanted to pick. So let's go ahead and start playing around and swatching these. Let's go ahead and swatch the gold ones first. Oh wow, that is like, it feels more of like a, more like a balm than anything. That's interesting. Can you see that? This shade right here is the shade 210 Soft Mauve. Ooh, that one, oh God, I wish the undertone wasn't so orange. That would have been like the perfect nude. This is 218 Radiant Bronze. More like Radiant Pumpkin, but who's counting? Who's counting? Not me. All right, so these are the ones with the serum in them. I didn't know this. Can you see how there's like a white dot in there? The serum is actually like the core of the two. I didn't know that. See, I didn't actually like look into these a ton. I really wanted to be surprised and <laughs> color me surprised. Okay, so we have this first one here. Ooh, that's nice and deep, dark. That color is super rich. Um, this this is the shade 118 Rich Chestnut. It's like a really deep purple. And then the other shade with the serum in it that I have is this one right here. And this is 100 Brilliant Brown. And I gotta be honest, out of all of them, this one's my favorite. It does have more of a metallic type shift to it. I don't think you can see it on camera, but in real life it does very similar to the lip liner. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is pair those two together. So I'm gonna go in first with the shade number 10 Bright Mocha for the lip liner. Okay, I like the lip liner, very nice, very creamy consistency. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the lipstick here. Ooh, ooh. 
that color is so nice. And all right, you guys, this is the finished face. What do you think? I personally am super impressed. Um, I do want to give a little bit of a wrap up though. So first things first, let's go ahead and throw up the up close of how my face is looking right now. Just so you guys have a general like understanding of how things are like sitting and you know, laying down on the skin. Um, I think as far as the bulk of the products go, the only one that I'm having like, uh, well, there's a couple of them that I, I have a little bit of a harder time and they're more complexion based. And that could just be that I need a little bit more time to work with them and kind of refine them for my specific skin. But overall, as a collection, I'm very impressed with how this was all done and marketed. I feel like they did a very nice job at really catering to the demographic that they were trying to hit. Um, it was my understanding when I saw like the campaigns for this collection and all that sort of stuff, they were really trying to hone in on what would work best for more mature skin. You know, not, not so much in like the younger skin demographic, but for people that really do have um, like age spots or or, you know, fine lines and wrinkles, laugh lines, and um, and just dealing with all of those concerns because as we age in today's society, I feel like it's really easy to get caught up in it and just hate all of those things about yourself. And with this collection, I felt like they were really trying to bring makeup to an age or to a type of skin that was really forgotten versus making those people feel like they needed to be drug over here and like crammed into this category and like fit these already existing products, if that makes sense. For me, as far as the individual products go, I don't think I would get as much use out of the compact foundation. A, the shade is just not it for me, but also I'm not sure about like the undertone, the texture, that sort of thing, but that's just me personally because I have a hard time with stuff like this in general. So I'm not too mad at it. It's just not my favorite. The foundation right now, I think it's okay. I do think I would have to mix it with something else because I'm noticing some light settling into my pores, but that's just more so like a me issue, not a foundation issue, I don't think. Oh, hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. I wanted to step on super quick because I didn't do, I mean, I had like some details in the outro as far as these products go, but I wanted just to show you guys how the makeup ended up wearing on my skin because I had a couple more little details I wanted to throw out. So uh, first things first, I think with this foundation, after wearing it, all of this has been on my face for a little over eight hours at this point. Um, I, I like the way the foundation looks over like the larger planes of my face. My only real complaint is like around my nose, still the same pory type issues that I had when I applied it. And then around the mouth, I noticed that it's getting a little bit funky as well. So I do think for this one in particular, I would either have to find a different way to maybe set it slash prime it or mix it with something because I think the overall like use of it is really nice. I'm just having some settling issues that I would have to try to figure out. So as far as what really impressed me, I have have to say the lip liner hands down is probably the most impressive thing because I don't know if you can see it or not but guys there is not one ounce of feathering on these lips and when I tell you I have the most crunkly ass little tiny lips I have little little like micro wrinkles all around it like I'm 97 years old those kind of lips and these like I no feathering at all and it is a rare ass day where I have a lip liner that doesn't feather so this is a 10 out of 10 I'm so excited about it and after what's interesting when I got done filming I actually ate lunch and the lipstick itself held on for a really long time but I wanted to layer a gloss over top of it because if anything it gets a lip liner to feather on my lips it's a gloss so I went ahead and I threw on like two or three coats I've been letting it sit here for several hours and there's still not an ounce of feathering. So I'm super impressed with that. But anyways, guys, that's it. I just wanted to come on here super quickly and give you that update. Um, so me and my little old lady bun, we are going to go sign off for the night. And uh, yeah, that's it. So just me, crunkly lips, editing, got some stuff to do. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, finish it out through the outro and into the outtakes. Don't leave early because you never, you don't want to miss the outtakes. They are, they're some of the best content I make. So watch those and have some fun. Have a nice night. Toodaloo. That's what 97 year olds say, right? Toodaloo. Bye. Bye. Okay. Do not make fun of me. That was my old outro. You suck. This is my mother being a little shit. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. This is what I have to put up with. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I wonder where I get those wrinkles. But you guys, that is it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Were you curious about any of this? Do you like it? Did you try it? What, what do you think? Um, per usual, leave me your thoughts down below. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, they are both linked in the description. But above all else, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that before you leave. I do upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is 
is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! That's where I was gonna put that. I wasn't gonna drop it there. I was gonna place it there gently, but that's fine. Just throw it across the room. A little bit scatterbrained at the moment. What is this, son? Stop it! Where do you want me, son? Where is it easier? It says that it's formulated. <laughs> formulated. Now, after we pluck all the cat hairs off of my face, what is happening? I'm sweating profusely and I don't know how to make it stop. Are you kidding me? You stupid, ugly little car. <laughs> that doesn't sound spiteful. My nose itches. Oh, my nose itches. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So, let me go ahead. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove it alone. Okay, so with this collection, there was no. Because uh, I. Shh, I'm very busy!